Etrix parades. Today is going to be one of those. You know, we didn't get a huge snowstorm. First of all, this was a, a smaller snowstorm. Never got heavy snow at all in Syracuse. It was steady and moderate for a couple of hours doing some damage, and we still could get a, a touch of moderate snow in the next hour or two before things really ease up. And by midday, you'll definitely see some improvements. Maybe a peak of sun this afternoon coming down from the skies, finding that pot of gold. Uh, so good luck to all those that march. Just prepare for the elements, cover the exposed skin, the hats, the gloves. Uh, you know, be smart about this. We all ski, ice skate this time of the year, go sledding, figure one of those type of trips, but for a parade. Tonight, they'll be doing some additional plowing, and that is because we get some lake effect snow that fires up. I think there could be a solid two, three, four inches of snow again tonight. Temperatures, the wind chill down near zero, and it stays chilly for tomorrow with some minor snow showers. Let's take a look at our next weather maker. Cold front has moved through, low pressure systems riding up along it, so we're getting this surge of snow right now. This is some of the worst weather of the day right now. We've got some pockets of heavy snow east and south of Onondaga County right now. Some light to moderate snow locally, and then it tapers off actually in far western New York going over. There'll be a little lull that moves in here towards the noon hour through the mid-afternoon. Maybe we get a break of sun in the early afternoon afternoon take a little longer to clear further to the east but then some additional snow showers come in with gusty winds this afternoon producing those icy cold wind chills and some lake effect snow showers that strengthen into some snow tonight so this is an area wide snow the back edge not far from Watertown towards Wayne County as we get towards late morning and towards the midday that back edge should clear the city of Syracuse This could be a little aggressive but I think it's solidly south and east of Onondaga County the snow at 1 p.m. and then we get a peak of sun from 1 to 2 before snow showers come in for those post parade celebrations perhaps this is scattered snow showers though that increases to lake effect snow this evening then a more localized lake effect snow band as we get cold down into the teens. Harsh winter conditions, right? You'll see some improvements to the south and west of Syracuse. By 7 a.m., that band lifts north and east of the downtown area, and that moves up into Jefferson County tomorrow morning with some breaks of sun. New lighter snow and snow showers comes in during the afternoon with minor accumulation there. So fall, additionally, 1 to 3 inches by 6 p.m. in the light blue. This does take in part that late afternoon snow shower action that moves in. Also down to the south and east, an additional 3 to 6. So I think in Syracuse, Syracuse, two, three, four inches of additional snow by sundown tonight. We'll find some additional two to four inches for tonight, likely. So 28 and falling snow exits midday. Those snow showers return late. It turns gusty, quite windy this afternoon. Wind chills down to the single digits by sunset. 16 tonight with some lake effect snow and snow showers. Snow showers, some breaks of sun, especially in the morning. And then as we go into Monday, lake effect flurries east of Lake Ontario, turning mostly sunny, 49 degrees. So a nice rebound in temperatures. Scattered rain showers Tuesday, beautiful sunshine Wednesday, and it really comes together on St. Patty's Day. 62, my pick day looks dry. Melanie?